Hey, what's up everybody? Cody from Detroit Speed here. We're back with another project shop vlog and today we're going to talk about Kevin's 1969 Pontiac GTO. Oh, hey Bruce, what's this? That's cool. Well, this is the new Detroit Speed Engineering Fender cover made by the original Fender Gripper. Perfect for putting on your fender, which isn't on the car at this time, but when it is, it'll help our tools from scratching surface and paint and slipping, falling on the ground. That's pretty cool. You can get yours today. <laughs> you did a great job. Hey, buddy. <laughs> All right, so today we have the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Bruce. He's gonna talk us through, show us everything that we've got going on with Kevin's car, everything that's happened in just the past few months because a lot has happened in the past few months. So Bruce, what we got? Well, this is one of the joys of building a car is getting to put it all together once everything's painted and looks nice and pretty and all the uh, long hours of hard work, you get to see it all come together. So it's pretty exciting. Um, we've been putting all the components on, brake booster and clutch reservoir. Our intercooler tank is hidden over here, which is a very cool piece. Yeah, that's, that's so cool. That'll uh, get covered up by the fender, so really neat to tuck it all in there and just kind of make it all all seamless almost yeah so you don't have a big box in the engine compartment so it just kind of cleans everything up makes it real nice and hidden and we've obviously went through and dynamited the whole interior and back there is our electronic e-brake so it'll be just a push button and that allows you to get rid of big handle or a pedal also kind of a cleaner appearance and this is pretty much on every build we do we put it in the same spot pretty yeah. much right behind the, the passenger or the, the rear seat yep just hide it there and then run all the cables down to the floor and then down to your uh, rear brakes mounting the AC and some of the duct work starting to get the pedals all that stuff situated we'll come through and do the wiring after we have most of the main components in there Got the tail lights in. You still gotta put the bumper on. It'll kind of really give you a little bit more better idea how she's gonna look. But she's coming together yeah. piece by piece. And of course, we uh, bed line the whole trunk, and then batteries going right yeah, there. Battery mount will go there. Safe to assume that that is for the amp. Yeah, that's an amp mount, and nice. there'll be a sub back here. But you also have a big panel right there. So okay, so it'll all be hidden. That stuff will all be hidden. Nice. Nice. Just have a nice clean appearance. And then we have uh, speaker buckets, correct? These are the speaker buckets. We dynamite at the inside, help the sound out a little bit, and those will hang up in there. And we're gonna do some wiring for them, so we'll wait to put them in it's a little bit farther down the road. Steering column will be one of the next things that goes in once you get the pedals and everything in, the dash. Threw some tape on her so we don't scratch her up when we're putting her through the firewall. Started putting, you can see that hole back there. Started putting the, um, regulator for the rear windows in there. Is once that all get, original pieces that are going in there? Yeah, refurbished, okay. originals. Uh, once we put the doors on, we'll put the glass and everything in there. Yeah, and you're just getting all the plumbing ran up front and everything? Yeah, we'll cut the hoses, the lengths, once we put all the components on, start hanging the front sheet metal. That's when it really gets exciting, you can really see the car come, to, come together. Yeah. All right, Curtis, Rogers, 1968 Mustang. I know you've been working on some uh, fuel stuff the past few days, so uh, what you got for us? So I went and got the Rick's tank in and complete with the Holly fuel pump and the regulator and trying to figure out how we're gonna run the fuel system and try to keep it all hidden and packaged away back here underneath this nice false floor I just fabbed up, trying nice. to keep it all packaged away and clean and have a usable functional trunk in this car. Nice. Also cut the car off the mounts and the table, put it back on its wheels and expect to be probably next weekish, rolling it off and putting it back on the shop floor again, continuing on everything. All right, so that's it for this project update vlog. If you want to see more updates, you can follow the link in the description below. Don't forget to like and follow Detroit Speed on social media. We'll see you next time.